Hey you all everyone, it's AJ and welcome to the manga organization video for 2023 because I have manga to reorganize especially because I have about 80 volumes on that four sitting in that box and I really need to get them on that shelf. So join me in the pain of trying to get this sorted but anyway here's a laugh. <laughs> Sorry I'm recording this at like four in the morning so yeah anything to lighten up literally the room just to get me started so anyway on to the actual matter at hand so i have a third bookcase that you never get to see in the videos and i'm literally just clearing off my shite that i actually keep on there because i'm not a very tidy person believe it or not as you can probably see in the very back corner so please ignore that um <laughs> so yeah so what i'm trying to do is i have two shelves of just a lot of like regular books and i'm trying to condense them onto one shelf because the shelf below that is full of cookbooks and whatnot and then the bottom shelf is full of like kind of miscellaneous kind of books so I'm starting to take off the manga that's already there, which is like my odds and sods. And then I'm gonna move it on to, oh no, I have these graphic novels that I have and I don't want no mixed in with my manga now because I'm gonna obviously be putting a lot more on the shelves. So I'm trying to figure out if they can fit down on my bottom shelf that you can't unfortunately see, but thankfully, thankfully they do just so it's me trying to organize all the stuff that's on that bottom shelf to then get all of those books in because i have nearly all the collection of walking dead and a quite a few thick graphic novels so whilst i was doing that i am um, i found my degree <laughs> yeah i am um, keep my university degree on my bookcase and it's covered in dust <laughs> and we go back to trying to reorganize and get and everything basically from a shelf and a half into a shelf. All oh, the joys. That also includes just kind of randomly thrown stuff like on across the floor because it's like right no I'll give you a different place you're not going back onto this bookcase. <laughs> uh, but eventually the degree gets onto a shelf, goes on the bookshelf and just carefully placed in that last book in and we're moving on to what I am using for risers because I know I don't have enough shelves just to do a nice single facing and as you can see from my frustration I left the stickers on and they do not want to come off they are just ripping off and it's an absolute pain I just eventually give in and just go you know what nope fuck it <laughs> so uh, I'm using like technically just normal shelf shelves so I've got these wee glass jars to kind of balance out the other end so that they can sit straight and once again the sticker did not want to come off the second shelf and I just give in because I'm like well it's going to get covered by books anyway there's no point <laughs> you can see the frustration of where do I go from now <laughs> so I start by trying to organize all the books onto the floor so see the volumes I've already had in the shelf with the volumes that were sitting in the box so I'll my comic can't communicate or a uh, toilet bone hana cocoon as you can see the only book that actually went on the shelf is my latest version of bingo stray dogs another story because that is the only shelf that isn't going to get touched the bingo shelf stays the bingo shelf which in result turns out to be the worst decision i ever made because now it really irritates me for how this process went down but anyway so as you can see i'm starting to just take off all the volumes and trying to organize them what you can't see is the floor unfortunately but you know we'll get to that in a wee, in a wee moment or so see like my hand flare like flaring like up all the time like like flapping around like what am I doing <laughs> and also as you can see the fact that I'm having to like walk off camera you can see how far I'm taking these piles because <laughs> for the most part I'm trying to keep series as a pile and then odds and sods are one pile all the queer manga is on like three piles it ended up being and then that's all food wars like like there's me realizing how much how many books I have and it's like what the fuck is going on <laughs> so obviously <laughs> I had to get <laughs> a recording of it didn't I because I couldn't I didn't want to move the phone so I brought out the camera so 
you can actually get a better close up of how empty the shelves look and also how the risers look also the bingo shelf just being the bingo shelf and then we go down onto the floor to see all the piles of manga that I own and it is fucking scary and part of me kind of wishes that I took a picture of like making like a wee bloody fort out of them because I know for a fact I now can and I kind of want to do that again because frankly oh my god look at them like the piles are so high <laughs> This is my collection, like, it is insane to think about that and it's just gonna get worse over the course of this year. <laughs> As you can see, look, oh my god, <laughs> my mind is blown and there was me taking a photo of it because I couldn't comprehend it and then the worst part is, that's obviously not including the Demon's Lair box set and also the Food Wars which is all on top of the bookcase right now. And I am literally just like, what the hell am I going to do? I'm trying to work out what to do. So I thought, okay, let me try and do alphabetical order. And then, does that work? No. Like, I need to put things in weird <laughs> arrangements for it to work. Like, Alice in Murderland ended up having to go upwards. And then Blue Period had to sit on top because I didn't want to move the bingo shelf because that is full and it stays that way and I've decorated it like that. So I just try and carry on doing alphabetical order and it starts, it already starts to annoy me when the time I get to food wars because I'm like right I don't really want to separate it, I don't want to put it up, I want to keep them all together. But I try and put Persevere anyway and I put Call Me Up and then I realise, I'm like, right, wait, can I try and move them across so then it goes straight across the two shelves? So this is me trying to work out if it will work. So I take off Call Me, I try and reorganise that shelf again. So uh, Assassination Clash and gets bro broken up again. Alice gets put in the way it's supposed to be. And then I'm realising, nope, it's not going to work because I don't have enough bees to get to Bungo and I just go, you know what, fuck that. So I take them off <laughs> and decide I'm going to try and put all the big sized volumes that I have on that top shelf. And so that's me trying to figure out which ones do I put in up at the top because I don't want to put them all up there because I realised that Witch and the Beast and Witch Hat Atelier were also that size but I didn't want them mixed up there. So then I try and go back to the alphabetical up at the other end. <laughs> and then I'm like, right, okay, I'll just put Food Wars up there. So then I was trying to think, right, I'll do a completed series, like on these two. So then, or more like full series, so then they'll look good. And then Kwame just kept falling, didn't they? <laughs> and then I'm trying to figure out how to make that shelf full because if the, sh the shelf isn't completely full, but there's like that teeny little gap and I was like, right, I'll just fill up the books that I want on the other side. Just completely disregarding like the sizes. <laughs> so try fit. Mars red in. Nope, doesn't go. And then I was like, so at this point I'm like, okay, trying to put these volumes in. But then I'm trying to put Moriarty in that middle shelf and it just doesn't want to fit on top of the riser. <laughs> so then I start like, okay, I'm just going to have to move them up to the top because I didn't really want to put them up that high because I wanted to see them a lot, bit er a lot better. So I've got like series that I really like up there, which is a shame, but anyway. So the last shelf here is the queer manga. So like all my BLs and GLs. So basically I put all the sublimes on the top shelf which worked out really nicely because it basically just filled it up and then I put them all in alphabetical order and then I put the other ones by size and then also by alphabetical order that way as well. So they are somewhat organised. <laughs> the queer manga shelf is the only one that's organised. <laughs> and as you can see that book fell in it, you can see my patience is just running thin with us. <laughs> I was getting very frustrated with us. And now I'm debating of, do I put in the volumes from the box sets? And then I just threw it up there because, <laughs> as you can see, I'm just thinking it's absolutely stupid because it's like, well, you can't see the back. So, but they wouldn't, f I didn't want to put them in. <laughs> well, I, if I can't empty the two of them, well, I can't empty just one of them. Weird mindset, I know. So now I'm trying to like, right, if I turn books around so that, they're like displaying, you know how people turn them around. 
I'm literally just trying to figure out how to make this look nicer because at the moment I've got two wee gaps like on those two shelves that you can obviously see the riser and also you can see my stupid stickers. So I'm starting to try and like put like my wee decorations back like on the shelf. So like my wee models and whatnot. So they're trying to make it look a wee bit better. Cause at my head I'm like, this just looks wrong. I still think it looks wrong. <laughs> Oh, the joys, the joys. So, just reorganising even where they went because I wanted to try and keep my ruby volumes together with the ruby uh, pop figures. So I just kind of decided, nah, they're going back to just hanging out there. Because I didn't really want to put them back on top of Food Wars. I don't know why, I just like, nah, I don't want to put them back there. So, reorganising, just trying to get things to look nice. And... There we go. As you can see, I'm just like, oh god, what this? Right, so I'll give you a wee tour of how the shelves look. And yeah, I'll just go through that. So all the big kind of size volumes. Here's obviously the bingo shelf and it's glory. And then got lots of his media. So I've got the comics, Saturn World Days and Platinum End. Got Assassination Classroom, Black Torch and Dead Man Wonderland, two volumes of Cat Plus Gamer, and then all of Food Wars takes up all that whole shelf. And then we've got Toy Boy and Hannah Cocoon with Witch and the Beast, and the girl from Other Side with both the singles and now the only buses, which are fucking beautiful. My two box sets that are just gonna sit up there. And then the beginning of the start of the two tiers, so we've got Norigami, Moriarty, Masho and Spy Family with the front with Witch Hat Atelier. And then we go into the queer manga with the BLs, with the Sublime at the back. And then the mixtures at the front, all different sizes, with my wee Danube, <laughs> it's no gob. <laughs> and then we've got Nature Joe, Mars Red and all the, my singles that I just keep, so my odds and sods. But yeah, so... There we go, there's the now new updated manga collection on display. Oh my god, it's just weird to think how vast that has grown within the year. And this is now how it looks. But anyway, until next time, I'm AJ and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!